Doge Peloge on the mic again. High tail begins on a dark and stormy night. EMS calls with a notification. A newborn baby born in the ambulance. Not breathing too well, we'll be there in 10 seconds. Nope, don't have any more information. Nick, you and OB paged and on their way. NRP card ready, this is the day. Deep breaths, alright, it's time to get down. Team and supplies assembled, the clock starts now. Get her warm, dry, positioned and stimulated. Assess the airway and provide suction and if it's needed. Verbalize it, breathe and tone, heart rate and color. If there's a problem with one of those, she's not yet ready for mother. Rate above 100, breathe in labored or blue. Reassess your airway and your waveform on your SPO2. CPAP or blow by to optimize, keeping baby alive. Remember 163, 75, 80, 10, 85. Double digit heart rate gasping or breathing too slowly. PPV opens amniotic fluid filled alveoli. First couple of breaths, you might need 30 or 40. But after that, only 20 to get a chest rise out of that shoddy. If heart rate doesn't respond, maintain adequate ventilation. Reassess if it's less than 60, it's compressions and intubation. One team member's ready with umbilical catheter and believe me, the rest of the team is focusing on the one, two, three, breathe. Catheter placed and ready, still less than 60. Gonna give epi. Coding a newborn baby's a situation where nobody's happy. Check heart rate every 30. Epi Q4 minutes is needed. Ensure no pneumothorax and give volume if it's depleted. A 10 cc per kg crystalloid bolus. Sustain your courage. Give it over 5 to 10 minutes to avoid intraventricular hemorrhage. If there isn't a pulse or respiratory effort at 10 minutes, then it's time to call it. But hang on a second, you put away that Kleenex. At last, a pulse is strong when in a rate of 120, we're golden. Stop the compression. The sad's picking up, there's nothing like that to unfold And a team of resuscitation is finally the neonatologist arrives And she's after the Nikki for dopamine by garbage cooling, she's gonna survive Try that baby off Position and suction, obstructing secretions and warm him up Hyperoxemia Causes free radicals, only give enough to avoid high Skill supplies and concepts to prevent parental grief We'll talk about meconium, aspiration and intubation And other things like umbilical catheterization When you first pick up that baby, get him dry and in the warmer Is he covered in meconium or not? If it's the former with poor respiratory effort, bradycardia or tone You needs meconium aspirated, get your head in the zone Intubate the trachea, your aspirator's ready Hooked up to suction, now take the stylet out nice and steady Attach the aspirator to the ET tube and cover the port to engage the suction and remove them both together This process needs to be repeated at least one more time to get that trachea decontaminated from all that grime Again, the decision to do it is based on breathing and tone Meconium splattered but yelling, leave that airway alone If he's floppy, crappy, breathing, no meconium in sight but obvious obstructing he definitely needs some slight suction in the bulb or baby yank Gower was fair, start by suction in the mouth and then move on to each nair Now let's talk oxygen, too much of it isn't splendid So to target the appropriate levels, you give it blended Start at 90 seconds for respiratory distress or Brady less than 60 But it won't fix ventilatory inadequacy Vascular access, umbilical vein is preferred Sterile gloves, cleanse, tie and slice it, see that the vessels are unobscured Two eyes and a mouth, go for the mouth cause that's the umbilical vein a pre Flushed catheter avoids embolism of air to the brain. Depth of 3 to 3.5, 2 to 4 if preterm. Umbilical tape to secure it once confirmed with blood return. 5 French for less than 3.5 kilos. 8 French if greater. Contraindications, defects, or infections along his equator. Intubate a neonate to ventilate or aspirate meconium. For this intubation, no rock uronium. Your tube size is 2.5 for the smallest preemies. 3 to 3.5 for others, don't forget their beanies. Use an uncuffed tube and a stylet or rigid fill. Laryngoscope size zero or a double zero miller Another thing is newborns are often hypoglycemic Dextrose for level less than 40 and symptomatic Finally I'll take you through what all you need to get To resuscitate a newborn and that way you won't forget Gown gloves are protection Universal precautions blanket and warmer Because getting them dry and warm is awesome Bomb syringe and suction equipment
equipment of different sizes BVMs, LMAs, tubes and airway devices Entitled CO2 and meconium aspirator Stuff to secure the tube and umbilical catheters Stuff for that sterile procedure and another that maters A little plastic bag to warm the less than 28ers Another one in the bag, what can I say? I'm just a doge on shift, I'm Dr. Pology But my rapper name is Paloge Only give enough to avoid